So today I'm talking about a P0038 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0038 code? Well, it's an HO2 as heater control circuit high bank one sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. And the second thing they do is they have heater elements built in and this does a few things. Helps it go into what is called a closed loop quicker. And the heater side also monitors the catalytic converter since when the catalytic converter starts to heat up too much. It's a symptom that it's starting to fail. And the onboard computer is seeing a problem with the heater side. So that'd be the main thing to pay attention to. And V6 or V8 engines, they have two banks. Bank one is going to always be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. So if you want to find bank one, just find the number one cylinder. And that would be the side of the engine having the problem. And then the second sensor going down that side is going to be the one having the issue. If you have a four cylinder then it wouldn't matter. And some possible causes of this, well it could be a bad sensor, it could be in the wiring like an open or a short, and possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is go locate bank one sensor two oxygen sensor and there can be some differences depending on the year of the vehicle, the engine type, and things like this. So it's always a good idea to go get a diagram of where the sensors are located if possible since it just makes it easier. For example, this is a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see, bank one sensor two is gonna be right here. And the basics of what's going on with these sensors is that you're gonna have sensor one is gonna be called the upstream oxygen sensor. And it's gonna be located before the catalytic converter. And sensor two is gonna be called the downstream oxygen sensor. And it's gonna be located after the catalytic converter. And so the first thing to do after you locate the sensor is to go check out the wiring and be sure that's all looks good. And basically just keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So you wanna check out the wiring, be sure it's all connected good. There's no open shorts, anything like that. Also keep in mind that this is going to be on a fuse. For example, here's a 2012 Toyota Camry. And as you can see right here, the AF sensor is going to be right here. It's going to be on fuse number 33. There's usually a fuse box located in the engine compartment that these are on. Again, this can vary. Sometimes it can be kind of vague which fuse it is, but these are usually on a fuse and if that blows, it could cause an issue. And so if you check that all out, the wiring looks good, there's no blowing fuses or anything like that, then at this point, you can either replace it or you could test it. And if you want to test the heater element side of these, that's fairly easy to do. And to do that, what you do is you find the same two colored wires going into the sensor and those would be for the heater side. And the two mismatch wires are going to be for the oxygen sensor side. So this gray, and black wire that's going to be going to the oxygen sensor and these two white wires are going to the heater side. Here's another example. These two black wires would be going to the heater side and then this blue and white wire would be going to the oxygen sensor side. So what you do is you find the same two colored wires and you use ohms to measure and see what the resistance is. And it's basically like a light bulb. If it burns out, it's not working. But if you are getting resistance, then it usually means that it's working. You can't check the oxygen sensor spec sheet to see what the resistance is rated for to be sure it's absolutely right. But usually if you're getting some kind Kind of resistance in there then it's working because usually these either burn out or else they're working but again you can't get the spec sheet for the rated resistance to know for sure that it's good i made a video on how you go about testing the heater element side of these oxygen sensors i'll put a link to that down in the description below if you need to check that out and so at this point if you've done everything else out very likely that oxygen sensor just needs to be replaced one thing to keep in mind with these oxygen sensors is that sometimes they require a special tool to get them back in and get around that wire that goes in there not all the time sometimes you can get by with like an open and wrench or something like that to get it back in but that is something to keep in mind is to go look at it and be sure that you have the right tools to get it out because sometimes a special tool is required to get it back in and get around that wire i'll put a link down below if you need to see what i'm talking about with a special tool and so that's basically it i just wanted to make a real quick video on how you go about fixing a p0038 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day